This is the Ricoh GR1, a 35mm point-and-shoot camera that was first announced in 1996. There are other versions of this, the GR1S, the GR1V, and the GR21, but for today, we're taking a hands-on look at the original, the GR1. With a roll of film and a battery in it, it weighs 210 grams, which is amongst the smallest and lightest film cameras that you're able to find today. In comparison, the Contax T2 comes in at just about 350 grams. It measures just over 11.6 centimeters long, 6.1 centimeters tall, and 3.3 centimeters thick. And at these dimensions, it easily fits into your pocket. Here's just how big it is compared to a roll of film, a deck of cards, a Leica MP, a Canon DSLR, and a Pentax 6-7. The finish of it is matte black, and it looks really understated and utilitarian. To the uninitiated, it might appear like an inexpensive camera, say compared to a more luxurious looking Contax T2, but the GR1 is fully made of metal, a lightweight magnesium alloy, so in the hands, it feels solid and rigid, and when you squeeze it, there is no give at all. On the front, you'll find a built-in flash and the focusing patches. It also has a viewfinder and text in a shiny silver chrome finish that is slightly raised above the surface of the camera. It also has AF assist lamps and a grip that is slightly textured like rubber, but it feels pretty smooth. It's not sticky or tacky, which is a great thing, as softer rubber tends to deteriorate over time. The grip section is also slightly contoured to make it very nice for your fingers to hold. On the top, you'll find the aperture dial, which allows you to set the aperture from f2.8 to f22, and when it's set to anything other than p, the camera decides what shutter speed to use, going from 2 seconds to the maximum of 1 500th of a second. And next to the aperture dial, you'll find the shutter button that is rounded and slightly raised as well. Then you have the LCD screen which shows you how many shots you have left, and a mode button that allows you to cycle through infinity, which manually focuses the lens to infinity, and a center point autofocusing mode, and snap which focuses the lens down to 2 meters. And besides that, you'll find a self timer button and an exposure compensation switch. On the side of the camera is a film rewind switch, and this camera does automatically rewind your film, so you'll only need to use this if you want to rewind your film mid-roll. At the back of the camera next to the viewfinder is an on-off switch and two indicator lights that tells you when your flash is on, and they will also blink when your flash is starting up or when you're severely over or underexposed. On the left of that, you'll find the flash button that goes from fully switched on and always firing to automatic, where the camera decides when to use the flash, and finally to fully switched off. There's also a small window to show you just what film you're using, and the Ricoh logo painted onto the camera in white. At the bottom of the camera, you'll find the serial number and the country of origin, in this case, Taiwan. There's also a tripod screw and a battery door which allows you to load CR2 batteries. In the hands, this camera feels really light, nimble, and fast, like a casual but rigid point-and-shoot camera. The side of the camera sits flush into the palm, while the ridge at the back gives your thumb something to press up against, and the contour in the front allows your fingers to wrap around it really nicely. So despite the functional and utilitarian look of it, it actually feels really good. And that's what I love about this camera. It's designed to look like a tool, something functional, but in the hands, it actually feels solid and well-made. A camera that gets out of the way, that is inconspicuous, that doesn't call for attention to itself, but one that is always there when you need it to get the picture. If you're interested in going deeper into this camera, I have a video out with many sample pictures, so check that out. And if you want to watch more hands-on videos like this, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.